daily this is why i have issues with people who shout um this is how i am and take me for who i am excuse me ma excuse me sir uh who are you hello there warm greetings to you my name is i know michael popularly known as los i'm a thought leader based in lagos nigeria thank you so much for coming to my youtube channel um, by virtue of experience and um, divine insights and keen observations, I have found simple ways of providing rest and succor to troubled minds, um, helping young individuals find themselves and live a productive life. Um, the goal of this channel in itself is to provide content that not just inspire to acquire and all those things, but to encourage you and energize you to make the right career, business and relationship choices right and um, this is going to be done in a friendly and non-judgmental manner so please feel at ease and uh, um, what you gain from this channel the videos will be centered majorly on personal productivity leadership and capacity building and then we'll be talking about um, talent discovery talent maximization and then we'll be talking so much about relationships right so this will do in a very pragmatic format um, so in order to stay abreast of what we are doing kindly click the subscribe button and then don't forget to turn on the notifications the bell notification so when our video pop our video will be popping um, yeah every friday every friday by 7 pm our videos will be out so please follow us and do not forget to share this with family and friends thank you so much i mean i'm J. michael los okay so love is not just about taking it's about giving so let's do a brief recap what is love? Um, earlier on, we said that love is a choice to give your best um, to make someone the best of themselves. And then we talked about choice and then we talked about giving. Today, we're going to be talking about um, giving your best and that is the term growth. Um, we'll be looking at several topics under it, but uh, we'll be talking about growth majorly. And I start with giving your best. Um, giving is good, but it's better when you give your best this part is very delicate in scriptures we all remember the story of cain and abel they both loved god and they both chose to give um, but then one gave um, the best he had and the other gave what he could find we all know the remaining part of the story the question now is are you really giving your best or let me rephrase are you ready to be your best for that person you see when we understand this whole concept of love you will know that it's not just about kissing hugging and all those social media pda we see all around us we know there's something deep and something very deliberate love is a responsibility right there is a responsibility a big a very big huge responsibility responsibility of being a better version of you right daily this is why i have issues with people who shout um this is how i am and take me for who i am excuse me ma excuse me sir uh who are you are you saying that this is the totality of all you can be no no how about you're more you're more than that you can be more than what you are what is love love is a choice to give your best to nurturing the best in another person this is the exact reason people around you expect that the moment you're in a relationship your your behavior should change they expect some level of maturity why because you are no longer comfortable at being at the same place you were yesterday there should be an innate desire to become more because you want to give your best to someone else you you love your partner enough to want to be the best version of yourself not just for yourself but for them right so you 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 grow you improve yourself you improve your services those things that make you special you do your best to 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 become better than you were yesterday why because you know that your partner deserves the best uh, and then this um, part of growth um, it, um, there's also another dimension to it um, which i will call the fourth point here nurturing the best in another person nurturing the best in another person this is also a dimension of love right um family first within then without you cannot give what you don't have inside you out right so that's the reason you have to first find the best of yourself um before 
you can give your best to somebody else right so there are these things are responsibilities big deep, deep responsibilities every possible positive attribute you have as a person must reflect favorably on your partner giving your best to somebody else that's how you give your best love demands that your partner is the first beneficiary of your giftings talents blessings skills everything that makes you special must make them feel special too this is what it truly means to give your best not trying the best in another, this may be the most important mission of every love story. This is what I term as life partnership, um, where both parties are committed to seeing each other at the zenith of their life's assignment. As a man in love, can you groom this woman? Do you have what it takes? Do you have the patience? Do you have the discipline? Do you have the courage to groom this woman that God has given you? As a woman in love, you, do you have the wisdom to submit to this man such that you can calm his anger without the house going up in flames? Are you homely enough to mend bridges that his pride has aided him to burn down? Or are you the woman that will add more fuel to the fire when he's about to quench? Are the two both of you ready for each other? Or are you just blinded with posting his view, her view on, 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 on social media? Everyone has a spice of greatness in them. Although the expressions may be different, but it's there. It's the number one responsibility of a partner to manage that greatness. This is why it doesn't make sense that some men will lock their wives at home while they go to hustle. Like why? This is a treasure God has given you, this woman. You should guide, you should support, you should, you should encourage and pray for till she rises to the peak of her career or business. This is your responsibility. This is why it makes no sense that a woman will be praying for her husband not to be promoted. Why? So that he will not have so that he will have time to stay at home. Stay at home and do what with you. What is love again? Love is a choice to give your best. To nurturing the best in another person. When next you think to visit the love street, please have this definition as your map. Let it guide your actions, your inactions. This is a map you won't find in Hollywood movies or Bollywood movies. You won't even find it in Hollywood movies. It's only here on this channel that you'll find this kind of love. The fruits of love are things the world enjoys showing you. But here, I'll talk to you about the roots, the things that can make it stand to bear good fruits. We are made to love. We are made to be loved. This is why we must be very critical in our decisions to love. We must be sure we are ready before committing to anybody. You must be sure that you are not just moved by feelings. I'd said in, before in some previous posts that feelings come and go. So love is not just about feelings. Right? So what are your values? What are your priorities? What is your vision? Let these questions aid you as you embark on your love trip. This is just a tiny tip of the love conversation. In time as we progress, I will talk more about love from different perspectives. Please feel free to drop your comments below and let me know what you think about the things you've just heard. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you got value from it. Please don't forget to drop a comment, click on the subscribe button and then don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you so much. See you same time next week. Bye.